Hi there, cycle enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Cycle Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Cycle Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about another usability setting. This time it has to do with a media library. It's the type of setting that'll prevent you uh, from having your content authors sort of shoot themselves in the foot. If you're following the Cycle Best Practices, uh, the recommended practice of storing media in the database instead of the file system, uh, you might get complaints from content authors saying that they uploaded the media file, they did a publish, However, it's broken on the website. It's not, the image is not showing up. Now, here, here is something that could cause that. Now, let's put ourselves in the shoes of content authors, especially the ones that aren't familiar with Sitecore just yet. When they go to upload a media file into the media library, they're presented with two options. Take a look. So they can use the upload file option right here, which uploads the file right away without giving you uh, the ability to specify any settings. However, if they choose to upload files uh, using the advanced option, at the bottom of the model pop-up that comes up, they have an option to upload as files. Now, for us seasoned Cycle developers um, and people that work with Cycle for a long time, this makes sense. Uploading as files means that the file won't go into the database. It'll be saved in the file system and the path to that file will be saved in the database only. So to actually publish a media file that's been uploaded as a file, we need two actions. First, regular Sitecore publish, and second, uh, some type of mechanism to sync our media file uh, folder on the authoring server with the media file folders on all the delivery instances. Now, if I'm a content author that comes to this dialog and looks at this option right here, Upload as files means, well, uploading the image or video or document as a file. So to me as a content author, I'm familiar with Cycro's functionality or the tech speak uh, of storing media in the database versus file system, uh, uh, you know, without knowledge of that concept. To me, this setting seems appropriate because I'm uploading an image which is a file, so of course I want that image to be uploaded as a file and served on the website as a, as a file, right? So my reaction would be to check this option. So when I upload a media file as a file to the file system instead of the database, and if Sitecore environment hasn't been set up to support these types of uploads, when, it, uh, when the content author goes to publish, the image on the website will show up broken because the image has not been copied from the authoring server to the delivery servers. So how can we prevent these uh, types of confusion? Well, there's a setting that Cycle provides to us called media.disableFileMedia. Now by default, it's, uh, it's set to false, so file media is disabled, that uh, is enabled by default, and this is why we're seeing the upload as file options as files option here. So what we want to do is if we're following the recommended cycle practices of storing media in the database, we want to patch this setting. Remember to avoid changing the cycle config directly, always use, uh, use patch files. So we want to patch this setting and set it to true. So once we set that to true, what that does is it removes the upload as files option from that dialog. Now here's that same dialog with that option set to true. If you notice, upload as files option is missing, so con content authors do not have a choice but upload, it, uh, upload the media file into the database um, and simply publish to um, copy it over to delivery. So I hope you like this tip. Uh, again, if you're storing your media in the media library database instead of the file system, make sure to check the media that disable uh, file system, <laughs> media that disable file media, set that to true, and you, uh, you'll avoid uh, um, all sorts of confusion from, from the content authors. So I hope you liked this tip. Uh, if you did, give me some thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips like this. Check out cmsbestpractices.com, and I will see you next Friday. Over and out.